Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Juan, and Juan was able to actually move all the way across the country. Uh, he has a very interesting story. He moved all the way across the country in order to get his first digital marketing job with no experience at a pretty young age as well. And Juan is going to come on and tell his story. So Juan, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. So what I want to do is like take everybody back to the beginning before you discovered digital marketing. So kind of the, your situation that you were in, uh, maybe tell me, you know, where you were living, uh, what kind of job you had. And if, you know, your, your general feeling, like, did you feel kind of stuck in that situation uh, before you discovered digital marketing? So if you could just kind of tell us about that, that would be great. Yeah. Um, at the time I was transitioning from a, a delivery job from FedEx, um, was pretty brutal on me and, and my life and, uh, and on my body. And I got a uh, shipping receiving coordinator job, um, for a company in South Dakota. And, um, I didn't hate or love the the job that I had, but I definitely did feel stuck. I felt like it was going to take me, you know, 10, maybe 15 years to even start scratching like the 60 K mark or anything like that. Um, and I didn't feel like there was a lot of room for me to move anywhere, uh, simply because I didn't have a degree and in South Dakota, they, I mean, it seems like they're really stuck on having degrees, uh, for you to have any other positions, especially like the technical stuff. So um, I think uh, it was November, 2022. Um, I was really just in that mindset of, I need to get something better. I need to do something else with my life because it's, it's just been uh, kitchens, delivery jobs and uh, factory work. Um, and I kind of knew that those weren't gonna really take me anywhere, um, especially not where I, you know, where I wanna be. Um, and so I started doing uh, research for uh, digital marketing jobs. And at that time, you know, I was doing um, some print on demand, some drop shipping and Amazon FBA. So I didn't knew, I didn't know, like, you know, people were paying other people to run their Facebook and Google ads. So um, I kind of went down a YouTube uh, rabbit hole to, you know, see if I could find a career in those things. And then uh, I actually found your channel. Um, mm. and I found one of those videos where you're kind of breaking down colleges and stuff and, um, breaking down, um, digital marketing and, uh, some of the courses. And, uh, one of them was, uh, Seth, uh, Seth Jarrett's course, the digital career blueprint. And, mm. um, once I watched that video, I actually went to his channel. I watched a bunch of testimonials and, um, I started reaching out to his, his students because he leaves the uh, LinkedIn link down in the description. So I started reaching out to them. And, you know, I was really, I was a little bit skeptical, to be honest, you know, because I was like, yeah, you know, another course. Uh, but once you start reaching out to the to the previous students and their success stories, and you, you find out a lot more about them, you're like, wow, this is, this is really real. And these are real people. Like they, you know, they actually made it. So mm -hmm. um, I think around uh, probably four or five months, I actually didn't take his course right away. Um, just because, you know, at that time I couldn't really, you know, buy his course. Um, but I did take a lot of what other students were saying, like some of their advice, um, and started implementing, to, implementing it, uh, for myself. And I was actually getting interviews for, for companies. Um, but there were a couple of them where I started getting into the technical rounds and I just did not know what, what I was doing. Like I, I and there's some of them where I just gave up, mm -hmm. um, so I, around that time, I'm like, okay, I, I really need to get this course. Um, because if, if there was this much free information, you know, on YouTube, and I was able to get this far, I can't imagine how far I can get if I actually paid for the course. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I did find out that he had a monthly payment plan, which was nice. So I uh, did that monthly payment plan, uh, took me about three months, or so, I would say to get through the course. Um, and after those three months, I started to uh, generate my own experience. So I volunteered for um, nonprofits running their Google ads. Um, I started working on some websites for acquaintances and people that I that I knew. Um, and then after a while, uh, I actually got an interview for um, a position, a marketing position um, from someone you know that knew that I was doing marketing, and uh, which led me to the, my current position today where I am a marketing manager for a tax firm. 
Wow. That is, that's an awesome, uh, origin story there. That's an awesome origin story. We did kind of jump ahead to the other stuff a little bit, yeah, but so. that's, an awesome, <laughs> that's all good. It's all good. Um, I, I have a, a few things to, to talk about. First thing that I remember you mentioned is, uh, you talked about how there weren't that many opportunities in the mm -hmm. place that you were living, which I believe was South Dakota or was it North Dakota? Yeah. South, South Dakota, South Dakota. And, um, the opportunities were kind of warehouse work, um, food and service, uh, yeah. factory work, that kind of thing. And it would have taken you 10 or 15 years just to get to like maybe $60,000 a year, uh, you know, doing those. And that's if you kind of excelled and were in higher level positions, which I believe yeah. you were already in kind of like a, a management position. Um, and so, you started um, kind of looking into other types of jobs. And basically what you found is they all require a college degree because unfortunately mm -hmm. uh, some places for whatever reason, and some companies require college degrees for things that obviously don't need college degrees still, um, which, you know, to be fair, like that's the reason why sometimes it still is a good idea to get college degrees just because of the fact that they require it. But it's silly because it just doesn't, it doesn't help you at all. And it doesn't help them at all. Uh, you know, for digital marketing, for instance, it changes every five years. So they're teaching right. stuff that worked five, 10, 15 years ago, but it doesn't work anymore. And so the only way to really learn digital marketing is to just get in the trenches and, and start doing it. And that's how you learn what's actually working. And so, you know, hiring someone to, with a degree, it just doesn't make any difference. But a lot mm -hmm. of places, you know, for whatever reason, they just, that's what they care about. And they're just stuck in their ways. And they just, you know, they don't want to change. And so, that was a little bit uh, probably discouraging for you. Um, but that's kind of why I'm so passionate about alternative education and, and these different opportunities is it, it's the future now. Like we, we don't have to get a college degree for many different careers out there. There's so many careers that don't require a college degree anymore. And you basically just need to learn the skills uh, on the job or, or just, you know, do a project and learn them by, by, by doing the work essentially. And that's the only way to learn it. And so I, I thought that was very interesting. Another thing you said uh, was basically you were talking about how you couldn't quite afford it at the time. And mm -hmm. one thing I like to recommend to people is, and I made a few side hustle videos, but it, it's, it's, if you can't afford something like this, I, I really recommend just trying to do some side hustles and just make a little bit of extra money on the side because there's certain side hustles you can do, like helping people move, for instance, um, you know, even mowing people's lawns, for instance. There's there's apps like TaskRabbit. If TaskRabbit is in your area, it's excellent because you get paid thirty five dollars an hour. Uh, and these, you know, if you just do some side hustles and stuff, you can make a little bit of extra money and pay for something like this relatively easily. Um, so I, I did want to mention that. And then. Um, I did like how you kind of went into your your background and the and the types of jobs you were working in and how um I wanted to ask you actually how mm. did you did you kind of feel stuck did you feel like you you know that that was kind of a dead end type career uh what what was your feeling on that I did kind of feel like it was a dead end I mean I I knew there was going to be maybe like a promotion here or there or maybe a spot I could possibly move up to but I with the company I was at, and it, you know, it really sounds like with other companies too, they really try to push that degree because it makes it sound like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I, I got this this job or this promotion because I had a degree. They wanted someone with a degree. So I'm like, I, you know, and, and that's the thing too, like that, that company did offer to pay for the college um, if you're there for so many years. And I just didn't want to have to go back to college. And even if they're going to pay, you know, for most of it, I just didn't want to have to go down that road route especially if it's like a four-year degree like I, I don't know how yeah. long I was going to stay at that company you know like five six years like I I couldn't do yeah. that to myself because then I already feel stuck you know at that mm -hmm. time the first year right um and I don't want to have to try to do that for you know the five or six which is interesting um uh, something did come up uh came to mind um I actually talked to someone that was at that company that did do that uh college program mm -hmm. um turns out they kind of regret it um, okay. and you know, I don't mean to laugh at that, but like they, they regret it because, you know, they're having a hard time at that company. So, you know, now they can't leave. They're stuck because if they leave, you know, they have to pay for the, what they've went to school for so far, mm -hmm. you know, cause you, you know, company does pay for that, the degree, but it doesn't mean that, you know, it just comes free, right. You're supposed to stay there for, mm -hmm. you 
you know, year and a half after you take your last credit or something like that. So, yeah, I, I also noticed that a lot of the time, and I'm not sure if there might be some kind of under the table payment type of thing, but a lot of the time these mm -hmm. companies will recommend kind of like the de degree mill universities where, you know, they don't really have the best reputation. Uh, right. It's kind of just like uh, you get the degree, but then anyone who sees the degree doesn't really care for it. They, it just doesn't have a good reputation. I'm not going to say the exact colleges, but you guys can probably just look up degree mill universities on Google and the ones will, you know, that are the worst ones, the worst offenders will probably pop up there. Um, and I've, I've, I've always wondered why that is. I think there must be some kind of under the table stuff going on there or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being a conspiracy theorist, but yeah, um, that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's, let's start um, when you discovered uh, Seth's course, you kind of, messaged a few people and then you took a few months to actually try it on your own because people were given really good tips in some of the uh interview videos that, that you were seeing and some of Seth's videos that he was given some really good tips and so you tried it on your own and you actually you know got decently far because it's such a good opportunity and such an in-demand career field that you were able to get decently far uh but then you got to the technical version and, and you weren't able to pass that so yeah. um th at that point you kind of realized that you know, you Seth's course was kind of the the missing piece that you needed to to do in order to get past the technical uh, part of the of the interviews. And actually, I got to give you credit for even getting that far on your own, you know, like figuring out that much. That's like that's really impressive that you were able to do that. So, um, let's talk about kind of once you got into the course, what was your what was your overall impression of the course, the community? the coaches, the live streams, and just everything involved in that? What was your overall impression? Uh, I was really uh, surprised uh, because when you hear a lot about like online courses, you do hear like, oh, you know, it's a sham or um, they don't offer a lot of support. And then I got into Seth's course right away. And then right off the bat, I mean, he really does break it down to you, like, you know, um, about mindset and stuff like that, because um, I think people sometimes come into this career choice and think they're going to get something right away or, you know, think they're going to get something tomorrow. And, you know, he really does break it down about how, like, you know, you, you know, just need to trust the process and, you know, really slow down and know that there's people there to help you. And I mean, there really is too, because uh, with the course, you also get the, you know, access to the Facebook group where um, there's thousands of students in there. Um, and a lot of them, over the years have had opportunities and it's actually really cool because every time I was stuck on something uh, maybe an interview didn't go so well I'm like man I am just doing horrible at the interviews um is does anyone have any time to you know to go through it or anything like that and actually I got a couple of mock interviews that I did which was awesome you know and, mm -hmm. and these these are people like I said they've they've had their careers um some of them are in management positions some of them are positions where they hire other digital marketing uh, students, which by the way, that is awesome. Something that's really awesome too. Um, students will come back when they have an opportunity and they're, even if they're in like, not in that position, they'll say like, Hey, my company is hiring, let them know who told you so that you can get, you know, to the, you know, pass, you know, <laughs> what they call like the gatekeepers, you know, uh, mm -hmm. maybe like HR or whatever, but, um, and you know, that's, that's something too, or like, I don't see a lot of support in other, other groups and other um and other programs like sis it i mean it was just awesome like it, it really blew my mind mm -hmm. like, i didn't i didn't realize i was gonna get all the support and you know seth himself actually like answers a lot of the questions too mm -hmm. and is a lot more available than i thought he would be you know i thought maybe mm -hmm. he would pop in once or twice a week no he's he's on there just about daily just answering stuff and going through stuff which is awesome mm -hmm. yeah i I actually mentioned this before, but uh, Seth and I go to business conferences together sometimes and yeah. uh, other business owners will tell him that he needs to start charging way more for what he does. <laughs> so, cause, cause yeah, it's like, it's basically a full blown coaching program, even though it's like yeah. marketed as a course, it's basically just a full blown coaching program. And those usually cost a lot more than courses. So, but he sells it uh, at the course level. So yeah, it, yeah, he he's just uh, I, I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why he has such a uh, good community is because people mm -hmm. feel that they got a lot more out of the course than what they paid yeah, for man. it. And so they want to stick around and just help other people, basically, because they, you know, goodwill compounds a lot faster than money. That's one of the, yeah. you know, the sayings out there is like, so if you can just give a lot of goodwill, 
uh, to the world, give a lot of value. For instance, uh, if you're making content, that compounds a lot faster than than uh, you know trying to sell your audience something and, and make money. So, yeah, um, he's he's got a lot of goodwill in that group for sure. The group is very yeah. tight knit. So. That's awesome. So what was your favorite part about the entire coaching program? Do you have like one thing that is your favorite part? Um, I would say, I mean, it really was the community aspect because he did have alumni come back and be coaches. I mean, we actually had uh, coaches for PPC specifically and SEO. And we also had like an interview coach uh, too. Mm -hmm. So it was actually kind of awesome coming back and people, like I said, who you know, really have a good career and, you know, know a lot and you get to come back and ask some questions. Um, I'll go over your accounts with you and be like, Hey, you know, you need to change this. You need to change that. So really having that guidance, I mean, it, you know, for, for better or worse, they really are holding your hand, which is awesome because, you know, you can't help to feel overwhelmed, especially for like a career change. And it's just something that you probably don't know nothing about. There's a lot of help. And I, that's a, I think that's my favorite part is just mm -hmm. the amount of support you get. Because it's not just from Seth, but the community as well. And like I said, those those coaching calls are once a week. You know, you get a couple of coaching calls once a week, which is awesome. It's awesome. It's really awesome. It's awesome. Okay. Um, by the way, guys, uh, if you're confused about what digital marketing is, if you want to know about the different types of digital marketing careers... Um, if you want to know if digital marketing is a good choice for you, there's actually some free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that'll answer all of those questions. This free training is offered by Seth himself. So definitely check that out. Um, okay. So how long did it take you uh, to get a job once you joined the uh, program? Um, so I think it was, I think about six months. Um, but I do have to say there was two months where I did have to take a break after the course. Uh, just for, you know, personal reasons and stuff happening uh, in my life. So I had to take two months off, but yeah, it, it was about like six months or so. Okay. Six months or so. Okay. So you kind of bought it. You you took a few months off where you weren't really working on it, but once you started working on it, it was about four months or so before you got a job. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, And then how much did your first job pay? Because I know a lot of people are, are wondering that. So so no experience, entry-level job. How much did your first job pay? Uh, 55000 if you believe it or not. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Especially <laughs> considering, you know, the where you were coming from in South Dakota, right. where that probably would have taken you 10 years to get to that level. That's mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. That is, that's a really, really amazing uh, accomplishment right there. And that just shows you guys, you know, there's opportunities out there. There's opportunities out there. And the funny thing is it's 55,000. Now you've only been working for like a month or a couple months. So yeah. just wait, just wait a year or two, you know, yeah. <laughs> like it, you're, you're going to be, a, you're probably going to be a lot higher than that. If you want to, if you want to, maybe you just want to, you know, coast and just, you know, have a chill job or whatever. That's totally fine too. But yeah, if you want to, you'll be a lot higher than that. So um, that's awesome, man. Congratulations on that. So what would you tell somebody who's kind of in the same position as you, you know, maybe they come from a place where there's not a lot of opportunities and the, you know, they're, they're pretty skeptical about these types of things. Um, what would you tell that type of person who's on the fence, who's, who's looking at, you know, digital career blueprint Seth's course and thinking, you know, should I buy, should I not buy? What would you say to that person? Um, I would definitely say, you know, go through those, some of the testimonials and actually reach out to those people. Uh, Cause that definitely helped out me. Right. Cause like I said, with, uh, with all these courses, you know, everyone has a course for everything. So it's a little hard to, to trust um, at first, but when you really realize that these are like real people and they actually had a success and they knew nothing about digital marketing, you know, that's what I think really gives people the real like kick in the pants to, you know, pull the trigger. And from what I paid for the course for what I'm making now, I mean, it's, it's insane. Like that is a huge investment. Like I got way more back than what I had ever, you know, paid for the course. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's definitely awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I, you can also do what I did too. Like, you know, if you're really skeptical or maybe you think you can't buy it, um, you know, of course, I think it would check out uh, Shane's video for, you know, side mm -hmm. hustles. 
but it, you know, if you don't really want to buy it, try to, you know, implement some of the things that are the students, you know, said in the past, you know, try what, you know, what I did where, you know, I got to a certain point and, you know, people, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities out there. People are really looking for people to run their ads. I mean, if, mm-hmm. if the last few years tell you anything, even if the world shuts down, people are still running ads. <laughs> I, I mean, I believe what back then we really hit, a, you know, some huge records, right, for mm-hmm. online business. So, I mean, it's, it, yeah. I mean, it seems to be extremely foolproof. So, I mean, it, it is a really small investment to what I'm making now. And I, I do have a full-time job now too, but I also have side clients as well. Like I have clients on the side that, mm-hmm. you know, bring in extra income as well. So, I'm making even more now. So yeah, well, I, I definitely. Th- ahead, that, that's actually a really good point. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. That's actually a really good point. Cause you were saying how you were looking into Amazon FBA drop shipping, mm-hmm. you know, so you're into entrepreneurship, which is awesome. I think that's amazing. I went through the same process where I started like an Amazon FBA store and I tried to sell some like workout bungee cord things and like all kinds of weird stuff like that. And I didn't have success with it. But, you know, it got me into entrepreneurship and it got me into looking into that kind of thing. And what I tell a lot of people, especially young people who are trying to get into entrepreneurship is learn some in-demand skills. And Mm -hmm. if you get a digital marketing job or a sales job, I can't like you are going to be way more likely to be successful when you get into entrepreneurship than if you don't have a job like that, because the skills that you need to be an entrepreneur are going to be transferable from digital mm-hmm. marketing and and sales and like some of these other types of careers that I, that I talk about on the channel. Um, so it's, it's just going to be, it, it's almost like entrepreneurship with training wheels. That's what I like to call it. It's like entrepreneurship yeah. with training wheels. And uh, you know, with digital marketing, you can very easily become a freelancer. That's even a step up. That's like, you know, training, like, like smaller training wheels, I guess, you know, it's like a step up and it's basically entrepreneurship. It's right there. And then, you know, you're one step away from just starting your own agency or something like that. And then all of a sudden you're a full blown entrepreneur starting your own business. And so, yeah, digital marketing is a great way to transition uh, into, you know, starting your own business and and learn those in demand skills. And basically, you know, I've said this before and it, it just like, it's kind of mind blowing. If you just stop and think about it, you're getting paid to learn these in demand skills, right? Like you're not having to pay like in college because that's what everyone else is having to do. And it's arguable whether the skills are even in demand in most cases. So they're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn skills that maybe are in demand, hopefully, maybe. (laughs) And you are getting paid to learn skills that are definitely in demand. And you never even had to go to college for four years in order to learn those skills. So it's just like, it's a paradigm shift. It's a paradigm shift whenever you, you start to realize that that's a possibility, you know, so that's uh that's awesome that you were able to do that and uh i i love your message uh to people uh that you gave who are who are thinking about jumping in and yeah man that that's great what are uh is there any questions i should have asked you but i didn't i don't think so i think we i think we hit pretty much everything awesome Juan. well thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story it's this is basically a full circle uh kind of thing for you 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 discovered you know seth and digital marketing through this channel now you're on the channel uh, doing the interview. And so you're probably going to inspire a bunch of other people uh, to jump in and, and you know, get into digital marketing as well. So that's really awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a good one, man. You too. Thank you so much for having me.